Hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews from here in Phoenix, Arizona at uh, the headquarters of Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, bud? Good. Before we start today's project, I'd like to ask you to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so we may continue bringing bring content like this. Marty, you know what I have is the Colt Anaconda. And, of course, in the past we went ahead and put this old, really old Packmeyer presentation grips on it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are asking, where can you get those? eBay. Because <laughs> uh, Packmeyer doesn't make these anymore. Hmm. For the Colt Anaconda, they make them for Smith & Wesson and hmm. Ruger, but they don't make them for the Anaconda or the Python. I guess they haven't caught up with the times, the fact that Colt is putting these back up again. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Uh, Wilson Combat just released a rear sight and a front sight for the Anaconda and the Python, which are the, exactly the same uh, configuration. The cool thing about them, contrary to the factory Anaconda um, rear sight, this one in order to adjust it you had to loosen a very very tiny set screw with a very very tiny Allen wrench and then you use a screwdriver and you had to tighten it back up again. That was, what's the word? Painting the rear end? Painting the rear? Well I, I was just, I, I had a flash in my head of uh all the Allen wrenches we were looking for earlier today and understanding how small that one is and how easy that is to find. Yeah, and, and, and the, how easy it is to lose mm -hmm. and to break too, because you can strip that screw mm -hmm. very easily if you Allen wrenches are a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. Well, what, even worse, what if it backs out while you're shooting? Okay. So that, I mean, let's, let's say you're shooting, everything's fine, you've gone through the process of tightening it down. Let's say you even Loctite it. Okay, you, you locked at it and then you realize something's off and then you got to get in there, either you have to back it out, you're going to strip that thing maybe, or uh, possibly, uh, you know, yes it shoots loose and then you're going looking for what is, I mean, a microscopic uh, little Allen wrench somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, and, and it's a pain. Yeah, it's a pain. The um, Wilson Combat one is mm -hmm. really high end looking and it's click stop. Mm -hmm all the way through so every time you turn the screw it goes click mm -hmm. and click it moves. On a, on a detent, yeah. So it's, it's going pretty cool and they also make a bunch of uh, front sights. I remember people are asking where can you get a gold bead or a brass bead or whatever. Mm -hmm. Wilson Combat does not make brass beads. They do make gold, gold. beads which are actually better they don't mar. Mm -hmm. They don't get all tarnished and mm -hmm. whatever. So this one is the gold gold bead. They also make a white gold bead. Hmm. They make Trigicon, Tritium um, front sights. Mm -hmm. They also make um, fiber optics. So you have a big selection of uh, front sights that you might want to be interested in. This one happens to be the, the gold bead. The gold bead. Mm -hmm. Gold gold. Yeah. So, Marty, uh, in your capable hands is the Anaconda again. Again. Yeah. Let's okay. Go, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, by the way. Uh, one thing they do include is a brand new roll pin. I was worried about that because that roll pin has been in and out of there a couple of times. Yeah. And roll pins are not supposed to be... It, it, they're really considered one-time use. It's not to say that you couldn't reuse them, but it's, yeah, it's best to have it replaced. So, and especially, let's say you lose it. So, yeah. so there we go. Let's do it. Okay. Through the magic of television, <laughs> it's done. Um, I just look through it. It has a U-shaped notch in the back and the gold bead in front. It's it's a bright gold bead, it's yeah. It's a bright gold bead and it should work great for our purposes. Mm -hmm. Now, like always, what we're going to do now is take it to the range because by you taking it out, putting it again, there's no way that you... I mean, you can get it close to where it was before, but... Yeah, we, we haven't done any of that. But, yeah, uh, any of that. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, you're, you're going to have to sight it in no matter yeah, what. Yeah, we're going to sight it in and... <laughs> Uh, stay tuned for that because I got some nice federal uh, Hydroshock 44 Magnum ammunition that we're going to shoot in gel. Okay. You think it'll go through more than one gel? I would think so, but you know, you never know. Well, it's <laughs> the most powerful handgun in the world. It uh, was. <laughs> well, well, come on, go talk 1972, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you can shoot it one handed while eating a hot dog in the streets of San Francisco. <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore, you know. So it's great. Um, 
Colt Anaconda is a great uh, revolver. Uh, I remember when it first came out in the 1990s. It's an amazing revolver, and people complain about the prices of Colt nowadays. Try finding one of the 1990s Anacondas. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be paying very high prices. So this is great. Thanks, Marty, for mm -hmm. doing that changeover for me. And guys, like always, thanks for watching. Please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.